Hi everyone, today we're going to talk about Recordia Yuma mushrooms. There's many different morphs of these mushrooms, lots of different colour morphs, from oranges, I've pulled a few examples up here to show you. There's blue and green. A smaller rainbow there, the yellow and blue. A lot of these mushrooms only tolerate indirect light with some moderate flow. You want to be able to see them looking like this all swelled up, showing good signs of health. A lot of humours tend to bleach when they're in too much highlight, like halides, um, with the LEDs on too strong. I would say out of all the colour morphs, that green probably is the easiest to keep. Um, I reckon that there's quite a bit more zooanthellae algae in the green. It gives it a bit more stability, whereas the orange here, definitely has a lot less, it's definitely a lot more unstable, but gives you a lot prettier humour. They're almost a lot like SPS corals in a way because they don't seem to like KH swings. Um, if you could keep your KH stable, Anything where you sort of get a swing like 1kh, 1dkh, is enough to really annoy them. They start shrinking down, looking a bit pale. Um, I find moving them into the dark sometimes help if this happens to you. You can see this one's getting hit with a bit more flow, you see, and he's a little bit closed in. Just put him here so you could have a look in the video. You can see here he's got a small pup growing. They tend to propagate by splitting, where it will split a baby off underneath itself and then move over slightly, leaving the baby behind. From what I've seen, a lot of these tend to feed from the light, from the zooanthellae that's inside them. Um, some will take smaller crustaceans, zooplankton, reef roids, that sort of thing. And some even take slightly larger foods. You can see on this one his mouth's open because I fed the tank just a little bit earlier. Um, they'll sort of curl up round the food until they've eaten it, but some just refuse to eat like that. They normally get from sort of one inch to four inch. I think again, the greens are probably the largest I've seen. And you sort of get an array of different size bubbles as well. quite an interesting mushroom to keep. It gives you lots of different colour variants to collect as well. And I hope this little video helps with some of their care. I think the main thing to remember is just keep them out of the uh, indirect light and I think you'd be fine. I'll do a little tank shot here to see few more of the other corals in the tank before we go. Especially like these really bright uh, eagle eyes here, probably the brightest I've seen in. There's a hulk mushroom there. And some of the SPS at the front.
so yeah thanks for watching good luck with collecting the different human mushrooms um, and if you do lose one don't give up you can always try a couple more sometimes you do get the odd one that doesn't do so well that's it for today thanks bye